Production possibility curve indicates to us the combination of two products that we can manufacture with a given amount of inputs. Here you can see the two products is pillows and blankets. And that I've constructed my PPC curve. But in this clip, I want to explain to you that a PPC curve can shift or swivel. I'm going to illustrate to you firstly when a PPC curve swivels. A PPC curve swivels if you have one point of your PPC curve that remains constant and then it rotates and for the other product you find that there is a change in the quantity being produced. Looking at this graph that I've constructed, PPC curve that is blue illustrates the original PPC curve. But the moment that the curve swivels, the black curve comes into play. In other words, it remains fixed at 50 pillows, but then for all the other quantities, you find that there is an increase in the quantity of blankets produced. Now, with this PPC curve showing one point that is constant, that basically implies then that the production technique for producing blankets has improved and therefore the increase in the blanket production from five blankets to eight blankets. However, the quantity of workers that we have employed as well as the productivity of these workers have remained constant. It is the technique for producing blankets that has changed in this example. However, you find that at point A, we are able originally before the improvement in the production technique to manufacture 35 pillows and at the same time we are able to manufacture three blankets. But point D on the new PPC1 curve indicates a higher quantity of both pillows and blankets being produced. So point D on the new PPC curve 1 represents then 45 pillows and if we construct it downwards we find 5 pillows. Similarly point B on the original PPC curve indicates to us a combination of 20 pillows and four blankets. But point F on the new PPC curve, that represents once again a higher quantity of pillows, 30 in this example, and then in terms of blankets, seven. So although the PPC curve swivels and there is just an improvement in the production technique of one of the products, in this case blankets, the new PPC curve illustrates to us higher quantities of both blankets and pillows being produced, except for point G, where the quantity of pillows remains constant. This swivel of the PPC curve we also refer to as economic growth because economic growth is if we produce larger quantities of the products, in this case blankets and pillows, from one year to the next. And with the PPC curve swiveling from PPC to PPC1, we find that the combination of the two products increases that we can manufacture because of the new production technique and that then contributes towards economic growth for a country.